Hey everyone, welcome again. In this Python tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create objects and methods in Python. So we have covered about the classes and objects in the last tutorial, but I want to specifically mention and explain you about how you can create the objects and statements around that. So which statement we used in the previous tutorial, which will actually create the object and then how you can create your own methods within the Python program. So this is important in terms of automation testing because you'll be writing scripts. So you need to understand this basic structure when you are going to create objects and then create the methods within the class. So I'll quickly create a file and I'll name it as Python objects and methods. Okay, so now we have already understood in order to create a class in Python, you simply have to use the keyword class, right? Followed by the class name. So say for example, I'll very quickly create a class which will calculate the area of a rectangle. So I'll name the class as area and I'll say rect rectangle. All right. And this class name needs to be followed by the colon. Okay. So this is the basic definition or how you will define a class in Python. So class keyword followed by space followed uh, by the name of the class. All right. Now within this class, we understood that we need to instantiate the variables. So we need to use the init method. So init method, if you're coming from Java background or other programming background, you can correlate it with the constructor. So whenever you are creating an object of this class, that init method will be called. So we'll define the init method, right? So we'll simply say def init and init method takes the argument self. So self is the keyword that you use in Python to basically reference or to this self will reference to the object. When you instantiate this particular class, then this self will reference to the object that are being created by using this particular class. Say, for example, um, if you are filling an information for my details or I'm filling the information for myself in the employee form, then I need to pass on my information in that form, right? So this self basically does that that particular thing. So when I create an object or when I, when I fill the form, the self keyword refers to the form which is specific to my information. Similarly, if Amit or another employee named Amit fills that particular form, the self will reference to Amit. So depending on who creates that particular information or the object is getting created, the self will reference to that particular object, right? So that's what the relevance of self is. And I have already explained this in a lot of detail in the previous tutorial. Now, along with self, we'll pass the length. Okay, so I'll simply say length and comma breadth. Right. So to calculate the area of the rectangle, we just need length and breadth. And then we will basically associate these. So we'll say self dot L and then we'll say L and then we'll say self dot B and assign the variable B to it. OK, so now whenever we will be creating an object of this particular class and we'll pass length and breadth, then that particular object, whatever length and breadth will pass, will hold that length and breadth information for that particular object. All right. So this init method will act as a constructor to basically construct an object. Constructor is nothing but construct, which constructs something, right? So constructs an object. OK, now in order to define, so this is the initial or init method, right? Now, if you want to define our own method, so we can use the simple def keyword followed by space and followed by the name of the method. So we want to calculate the area of the rectangle. So we'll name the method as calculate. So whatever name you are looking for, so you can specify whatever name and we'll say calculate area. Okay. And as soon as you will, you know, open and close the brackets, you will see that self is already passed within it, right? So self is the parameter that by default needs to be passed in the methods followed by the colon. Now, as part of this, method, I will return the calculated area. Okay. So whenever I'm calling, whenever I'm creating the object of this particular class and calling this particular method, then I'll return the area. So what I'll do is I will say self dot L multiplied by so self dot breadth, right? So this 
area will be returned. So rectangle area is length into breadth. Now when we say calculate area, we are, we are returning the length multiplied by breadth. Okay. So this is the brief class that we have created. Okay. Which has the init method. Then we have the custom method that we have defined within this particular class. Now within this class, we can have any number of method, custom method that we want to define. And we'll be doing same thing when we go to the Selenium automation. So we'll be defining the class, we'll be defining the methods within it, and then we'll be using it. So when we'll be going to the framework section, we'll explain, we'll understand all these concepts in detail. All right. So now how can we create the object of this particular class? So usually if, if say for example in Java we used to have the keyword new to create an object, right? In Python we do not need to have any of the keyword. What we simply need to do is so an uh, uh, reference variable basically. So we can we need to define the reference variable. So say for example where we want to hold this particular object. So any variable. So that variable say for example area one okay followed by just the name of your class okay that's pretty much it that you have to do and because this particular class accepts the argument so this init method you see that it accepts two arguments it actually accepts three but self you do not need to explicit explicitly define here when you are creating an object okay so self is by default considered so you do not need to specifically mention self in this particular case okay so what you can simply provide here is say for example the length and breadth that you want to pass to calculate the area of the rectangle and this is how you create the object of this particular class so area one holds the object so this is the reference variable that holds this particular object which is which has length and breadth of eight okay now if i want to create another object i will simply say area rectangle and pass some other value say for example 67 comma 76 right and i can store it in area 2 all right so this is how you create an object in python now these objects are created now if i want to call the method so i have defined the method as well so this is my calculate area method so what i'll do is i simply need to say area one and then followed by dot and we'll simply say calculate area okay so what this calculate area method will do is for this particular reference variable which is area one which holds the object for the rectangle which is of length eight and breadth five okay so usually you know length should be more so i'll simply change it to 76 and 67 and here eight and five okay so area one holds or area one is a reference variable for the rectangle or the rectangle object which is of length eight and breadth five right so this calculate area will be called on area one object right so this calculate area will basically multiply eight into five and return as the value okay so if i run this now okay uh so because this is returning the value right so we are not printing anything here so what i'll do is i'll print this on the console whatever value is being returned by the calculate area i'll simply go ahead and print it so now you can see 40 has been printed now say for example i want to call this method for area 2 reference variable which holds an object which holds a rectangle object of length 76 and breadth 67 then we'll simply say area 2 dot calculate area okay so if i run this now you will see the area for rectangle or the area for second rectangle has been printed all right so this is a brief introduction about how you will create uh, the class so we have talked about class creation in very very much detail in the previous tutorial so please go through that that's a general class and object topic so go through that come to this one and in this one we have clearly understood about the creation of the object and how you will define your own methods within the class in Python. So that's all for this particular tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.